Welcome to this segment of our learning series on Health Equity Basics. This program is brought to you by our regional chronic disease collaborative partners in Alaska, Hawaii, Montana, and Wyoming. This segment will cover how cultural competence and humility can assist with advancing health equity. Culture refers to all the ways of life of a population that are passed down from generation to generation. Our culture might be reflected in our morals, customs, value systems, and spiritual traditions, and even in what we eat and how we dress. When addressing health equity, it is important to acknowledge different cultures' beliefs to better address population health needs. Understanding different cultures often happens in stages and is an ongoing effort. This cultural competency continuum illustrates several stages and can help to broadly gauge where a person, organization, or community is on their journey to cultural humility. The stages are cultural knowledge, awareness, sensitivity, and competency. Each of these stages leads us further up the path toward cultural humility. The first stage is identified as cultural knowledge. This means that we are familiar with some of the characteristics of a certain culture. The next stage is identified as cultural awareness. This means that we are beginning to develop sensitivity and understanding of a certain culture. This stage involves internal changes in terms of our attitudes and values. The next stage on the continuum is identified as cultural sensitivity. Cultural sensitivity is knowing that cultural differences and similarities exist and not assigning any values or judgments to them. Cultural competence means that our behaviors and attitudes demonstrate that the values, attitudes, beliefs, and customs that differ across cultures are respected and enable us to work effectively in cross-cultural situations. Cultural humility is an acknowledgement of our own barriers to true intercultural understanding. It is the difference between intellectually knowing another culture and being able to truly relate to it. Working toward and maintaining cultural humility is a lifelong process of learning and self-examination to refine one's own awareness, knowledge, behavior, and attitudes as they relate to culture. The practice of cultural humility helps advance health equity by promoting inclusivity, addressing implicit biases, and creating a safe and supportive environment for people from diverse backgrounds. Cultural humility requires openness, acceptance, appreciation, and flexibility when working with people, organizations, or communities from other cultures and asking what their needs are. It is recognizing that you don't know and that you are open to asking. Cultural humility invites us to engage in self-reflection and self-critique. It invites us to be aware of power imbalances and assess the cultural dimensions of the experience of each person. You can use the humble model to help practice cultural humility. Each letter of the word humble incorporates values and practices that will help you incorporate and apply cultural humility into your work and life. Be humble in the assumptions you make about the world. Understand how your background and culture can impact your interactions. Motivate yourself to learn about different cultures and begin to incorporate what you learn into your interactions with others. Engage in lifelong learning and emphasize respect for other cultures and beliefs. Incorporating the humble model can help you embark on a lifelong journey of cultural humility. The next segment will cover the idea of bias and how it affects health equity.